and we're the ID Tech X show. Hi. Hello. Hi. So who are you? I'm Kitty, Kitty Young. I am demoing some of my designs here at ID Tech X show. So what is this one? This is a 3D printed parts uh, on a handmade dress. I have uh, designed all these embroidery patterns that is uh, all 3D printed. So people can actually um, buy these parts and build their own projects. What's about the light? Is this uh, not to do with the dress, right? Yeah, the light is uh, on the mannequin. On the mannequin? Yeah. And what's happening with this one? This one is a um, dress made out of this material called Made of Mars. It's a type of material you can use by melting down volcanic rocks and uh, pull into fibers and weave the fibers into fabrics. So it's um, a volcano? Yeah it's, uh, yeah, it's the same composition in the volcanic areas. It's and very soft. On, yeah, and on Mars, actually. On the Mars surface, you can find a lot of this kind of material. It's called basaltic rock. And nice. I also added the uh, optical depth sensor and temperature sensor to detect our environmental data. So does that mean that um, does it going to do something in the LEDs based on the environment? Or? Yeah, yeah. So it has a buzzer and it has a ring of LEDs. The colors are corresponding to the temperature. And the optical dust sensor sends signal to the buzzer. So if we have abnormal data that's detected here, then it will show on the LEDs and also buzz at a certain frequency. Nice. Uh, how about this one? This is a dress. Uh, I use servos and microcontrollers to make the wings move. And all of these designs are my own paintings on the fabrics. I'm wearing one, and this is an, uh, my painting of lotus, mm -hmm. the pond with the fish and the flowers. Uh, these are my already made products. Uh, these are constellation prints. I painted every single constellations on the fabric. Uh, these are the products that I am wearing right now. That's a painting of um, one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's called Guilin in China. It's a Chinese painting. Guilin is uh, with a beautiful scenery? Yes. Where is it in Guilin? Uh, it's in uh, Guang Guangxi province. And I also made scarves. This is a shawl. So all of these have my paintings. These are already products that people can buy. But then for those ones that are still prototypes, I make them open source. So people, open source? Yeah, so people can learn. I write uh, tutorials on how these dresses are built. And people can find the tutorials, the code, the construction processes and the components. They can buy them off the shelf and they can use my code and build their own projects. How do you make the wings? I use uh, servos and a small microcontroller. It's the Micro Adreno microcontroller embedded at the back. Um, just a small battery and... Is it comfortable? It yeah, for sure. You don't feel anything. Can you it's make the wings fun. flap uh, based on the heartbeat or you something could, like that? Yeah, if you add a heart rate sensor. So I haven't brought it here today, but I have a dress that detects your EKG signal. So you can trigger it to blink LED or you can trigger it to uh, connect to the motion. So if you're excited, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flap the wings yeah, more. Yeah, if you want to program it that way, you could. Or <laughs> some other ways. Yeah. So uh, um, these are on, do you do these, what's it called? Um, Defiles, so, you know those... Uh, with models on the walking and showing oh, your the, collections? Oh, the the runway shows? Fashion fashion shows. Fashion shows, yeah. You I, have the, you do this? Yeah, I, I have done fashion shows and including San Francisco Fashion Week and New York Tech Fashion Week. Yeah. And I um, opened my brand recently so people can buy the ready to wear. They can also through the website learn how these high tech garments are made. Right now, our industry hasn't got to the point that they can really manufacture those high-tech clothing at scale.
but to push that, I make them open source and people can learn for free how these are made. So I'm hoping that manufacturers will start to look at the creative designs. But um, I think people want to buy your your designs. Yeah, right? if if they like, they can Where? buy them. Where? Uh, it, it's called Art by Physicist. That's the brand name. Uh, but my own URL is the URL is my name. I'm the designer. Is uh, Kitty Young K I T T Y Y E U N G dot com. They can buy the ready to to wear. So I'm here to show the vision that we can really bring technology and deliver technology, make technology artistic. We haven't had enough integration between the, the fashion, the art world, and the tech world yet. So I want to push that. And you say art by physicist. Yes. You're a physicist? I'm a physicist, yeah. So like um, stuff to do with uh, matter and space and everything? So yeah, I, my background is in condensed matter physics. I did solid state materials and study the quantum properties of materials and build circuits. Uh, I'm still a physicist uh, in my daytime, but uh, at night, in my spare time, I would put my creative outlet into building beautiful fashion and do paintings. So what's next? What what next do you want to do also? You have some many different projects you want to yeah, do? Yeah, I have a lot of project ideas I'm going to create and using new technologies to build them. So people can follow you and see what's next? Sure, yeah. People can find me online, find me on um, Twitter, Instagram, Art by Physicist. Um, and I also am pushing the application of technology in fashion manufacturing. So if you, if you want to hear more, there's actually a lot of problems in the current fashion industry in terms of overproduction and waste and pollution. So using technology, we can actually do made to order and reduce the waste and pollution that, um, that's from making goods that people don't actually want. Because um, it's like all these nine dollar ninety nine uh, <laughs> stores or stuff, mm. uh, discounts and yeah. stuff. They sell all this stuff people don't need. Yeah, yeah. The, so the, what are you gonna do about this? Those were overproduced, and oftentimes after the rounds of discounts, they end up in landfills or incinerators. The fashion industry actually generates ten percent of carbon footprint. 30% of clothing ever made are never sold. So we actually should be doing made to order. We shouldn't be making anything until someone already wants it. So right now, making small volume is a temporary solution. But in the future, I really see we can use technology to really understand what people would like and create a platform to support creative designers, to allow more interesting designs being um, available for people to understand and visualize online and then they can do purchases online before the product is actually built. All right. Uh, so maybe there's also a lot of, of uh, what's called second hand. Second hand could be a big thing, right? Because why just throw things away? You can just maybe yeah. find somebody else who wants yeah. to use it. Yeah, second hand would be one of the solutions to uh, sustain based on things that's already made. But in the future, I really think we shouldn't be making anything until someone already wants it. We, we are continuing our creative journey. The uh, emerging designers, they have all kinds of beautiful ideas. We have to give them the opportunity to build their ideas into reality. But at the same time, we should not be making things that are not creative, that people actually don't, don't really want to buy.